hello everyone and welcome back to my channel in today's video i will teach you the basics of the illustrator in just 10 minutes if you are a complete beginner this video is for you and if you are a pro you also need to be here too for a nice refresher let's get started This video is divided into two parts. In the first part, we will learn the basics and in the second part, we will learn the advanced tips and tricks and tools to speed up your workflow. Illustrator is a very comprehensive tool. It's a vector-based software, which means that the graphics you create in Illustrator will consist of mathematical equations rather than pixels. If you open Illustrator, this is the interface you will see. I'm using Illustrator 2020. If your interface looks different, you need to update to the latest version of the Illustrator. If you want to use the older version, it's fine too. Only the difference is the property bar. In the older versions, you will see the properties panel at the top rather than right. We'll go over the basic tools and their features. In the next 10 minute video, we will learn the advanced tools and techniques. So be sure to check that video as well. Let's understand the basic navigation. Hold the spacebar on the keyboard, right click drag to move around. Use the scroll wheel to move in the x axis. We have the toolbar on the right. Let's go over the functionality of each tool. The tools I skip will be used in the next part, or they are just the legacy, means now there are better alternatives of them. If you accidentally delete or change any of the tool positions, you can go to the Windows, Workspace, and click the Reset Essentials. If the tools are missing, you can click these three dots to add them manually in the tools panel. First we have the selection. This tool lets you select the whole vector object. With the help of this tool, you can move the position of your object and adjust its proportions. If you hover over the corners of the object by selecting the selection tool, you will see a different arrow. This arrow means you can rotate the shape by dragging up or down. And this arrow means you can scale up or down. If you hold the shift key while scaling or rotating, its behavior will change. You can click to select or drag to select multiple objects. You can hold Alt, click and drag to create multiple copies of that shape. Next we have Direct Selection tool. This tool lets you select the individual corners of an object, which are called the anchor points. You can select different anchor points by holding down the Shift key and clicking on them to adjust the shape to your liking. You can also select individual parts of the object. Next we have the magic wand tool, which helps you to select objects in your artwork that have similar properties. For example, look at these five shapes. If you want to quickly select the red shape, just click on it with magic wand tool. This will analyze the whole artwork and select the, all the objects containing the same red tone. Next we have the lasso tool, which helps to select multiple anchor points and paths quickly. All you need to do is just drag over the corner points you want to select rather than select them individually with the drag selection. Now we have the most useful tools in the illustrator, the pen tool. It helps to create custom shapes and paths. We'll go over in detail in advanced video. To create a shape, you need to click and then click and drag. Notice these handles, you can change your position to create your desired shape. Let's create a random shape with the pen tool. Select the pen tool, then click and click and drag. 
If you want to remove a handle, simply hold the Alt key and click on the previous anchor point. Use direct selection to move an anchor point after you created it. And then use the pen tool again and click on the anchor point to continue the shape. After you created the shape, click on the first anchor point to finalize it. Notice the little circle, it means the shape is closing at this anchor point. Then we have the curvature tool, which works similarly to the pen tool. Only the difference is, it does not contain handles. It does all the heavy lifting of curves and handles for you. We'll go over in detail in the next video. If you notice there is a small arrow next to some tools, which means there are sub tools that perform different actions. Most of them are self-explanatory, which work similarly to their parent tool. You need to click and hold on that tool to see its sub-tools. Next we have the text tool, which helps to write text. All you need to do is just click on the artboard with this tool selected. You can see the text properties on the right. You can change font, size and spacing of the text accordingly. If you are using an older version, you can go up to the windows and select the character panel. Type tool have different sub tools. For example, the type on path tool allows you to write text on the curved paths. Let's understand the fill and stroke first. Notice this section. Fill means the actual color of the shape and the stroke means the border. If I select no fill, we are just left with the border, which is called stroke. You can change stroke size in the properties on the top or right. Next we have different shapes in Illustrator. Hold shift to create the perfect shape. You need to hold shift while clicking and dragging. It will create a perfect form. Without holding shift key, it will change the form of the shape. You can hold shift and alt key to grow the shape from center. With the brush tool, you can create custom strokes and the lines. Brush tool will work better if you have a graphics tablet, so you can control the flow of the line. The eraser tool allows you to erase parts of the object. Now we have the one of the most useful tool in Illustrator, the width tool. It allows you to change the width of the stroke at any point. With this tool selected, you need to click and drag to change the width of the stroke at any point. Next we have the Shape Builder tool, which is also the one of the best tools in the Illustrator that allows you to merge and exclude different shapes. Keep both objects selected and drag a line to merge them to create a new shape. You can hold Alt while dragging to exclude the shape. Next we have the Gradient tool. To create a gradient, select your required object. With the Gradient tool, select and drag on the object. Double click on the gradient point to add different colors to it. Then we have the mesh tool. It works similar to the gradient tool. With the shape selected, click to add points. Then you can select each point with a direct selection and change its color to create a unique pattern. We'll cover it in detail in the advanced video. Next we have the blend tool, which helps to create between shapes. Let me show you what I mean. Let's create a square and a circle. With both selected, 
Click between them with blend tool. It will create a shape between them to blend two shapes. You can see these panels on the right. Some of these features work with the combination of the tools we discussed. We'll cover them in next video, but let's go through some of the tools. First we have the align panel, which helps to align different objects accordingly. You can access align panel in Windows Align. You can select align type to align to the source. You can also hover over different options to see what they do. Next we have the Pathfinder, which helps us to merge and exclude different objects. You can access the panel in Windows Pathfinder. Select both objects. Hit Unite to merge. Minus front to exclude the top object. And intersect to intersect different shapes. You can also hover over different options to see what they do. So this was the basic overview of Adobe Illustrator in 10 minutes. I know you guys probably have a lot of questions. So I suggest that you watch my next Illustrator advanced video where we will cover more tools and advanced techniques. You can also ask questions to my Instagram page. Make sure to leave a like, share your thoughts in the comment section and share this video among your friends. Thank you so much for watching it till the end. I'll see you in my next one. Take care.